starting to loosen up some of Australia's coronavirus death toll has risen, but the spread of the disease here is comparatively limited. And lest we forget as we speak, the heartbreak of people returning their blood and their kin to the earth in scant ceremonies, in wind-blown and silent cemeteries, reminding us violently that this is no time for complacency, and in this elasticity of time, time is still ticking, and something is telling me something, and now I have the time to listen. The neighbour just said that they're baking their bread, and in the veggie garden bed they're growing their own, with the soil and the seeds, and they're sharing their latest how to do and how to be, calm and connected and safe and still free, to speak of their sorrows, their joys and their needs, and they're being all inspired and allowed to fall apart and feel heavy in their heart. And please tell your little girl that was so thoughtful and clever, that daisy chain around your neck while you sat in the sunshine and slowly pulled yourself together. You shared that post and it helped the most today, so thank you both. And thanks to the folks with their midnight dress-ups, to karaoke DJs and wishing strangers their happy birthdays. And in this time of front lines, thank you to the supermarket workers through heaven and hell with their packers of shelves and the drivers as well. And thanks to the patient and grateful and kind. And while that's on my mind, thank you teachers from the kids and the wife and me. And gratitude sincerely to our doctors and nurses and healthcare community and the Victoria Police as I write this piece for in the service of protecting us all are deceased. May you rest in peace. And last but still last, according to government policy, our artists, thanks for the songs, the films, the plays, the pictures, the dancing, the magic and the poetry. How lost and empty we would be without you now and always, but now, like you, wouldn't believe. We would be as empty as these streets, but there is the occasional dog on the lead and the cheeky bike ride for the family. But mainly it's home. It's home for now, for those lucky enough to be. And is everyone safe behind those doors? Can we please keep our ears out? Can we try to do more? Some bird song continues somewhere in those trees, as the blue sky reminds me I'm not on my knees. And my parents are fine, so they keep telling me. And I'm lucky and blessed and sometimes distressed, but a friend called and yes, we've got this I guess. Stay home and stay safe in this history we make. Stay home and stay safe in this history we make.